Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we're gonna have a little bit of fun today. We're gonna be creating dice in the Maya. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so my 2020. Well, I received a question from a subscriber who was working on a board game to model uh, dice and also to model pawn pegs. Now, I had to look that up and uh, this is what they look like. Uh, let me just go in and share the reference. These little guys, right? Never knew they were called that. Anyway, we're gonna start with the simple thing, which is this thing, and then we'll go and create the dice after that, right? Okay, so let's go in here and create a uh, polygon sphere. And let me just uh, take that reference and push it back a little bit. Hit W, push it back, yep. Yeah. We'll take this guy, we'll open up the attribute editor, make it a bit less high poly. Let's go to 12 and 12, that should be fine. And then we're gonna jump to our front view. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it down. And let's get this out of the way. F to frame everything. And uh, let's uh, scale it down a bit more. Let's hit W, move it up. And uh, there you have it. That's about right. Then we're gonna right click. We're gonna go to face. So we're gonna drag, select these, delete those. And then we're gonna go into edge, double click right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. W to pull down to about there. R to flare out like so. There you go. Then we're going to go in here. We're going to insert edge loop. Let's go in with, I would say, about eight. And we'll add them right there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe slightly more. Let's do 10. Better spacing, I think. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly get this guy in shape. We're gonna right click and go to vertex. So take that and let's scale that. Until it's about straight. And let's keep on going here. All right, so now that we have that, uh, we are gonna smooth this thing. Let's see how that will pan out. We're gonna go in here to object mode, with we'll three to preview smooth. And yeah, looks fine. Now, if you want this line to be a bit more uh, sharp, right? We'll hit one to go back. We'll go in here to edge, double click. We'll bevel it. Let's set that fraction to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. Yeah, one's fine. We'll go back in, we'll hit three again to preview smooth, and there you go, right? Now we can go in and actually smooth it if you like, and we don't have a bottom here. We can close that up if you want, but there's no need for it because they would be sitting on the floor, right? But we can, what we'll do is we'll uh, hit Control E to extrude, we'll hit R, we'll kind of pull that in, G to repeat, R to pull in again, G to repeat and R to pull in again. And then we'll go into mesh and fill hole. And to get rid of that end gone right there, we're gonna go into face, click on it, go to edit mesh and poke. And now we have a good alignment there and we have no end guns, right? Cool, cool. Now, if we smooth this guy again by hitting three, you'll see that we have this um, line down here that we can bevel if you like, we'll go in bevel that again let's go to 0.2 in this case maybe add one segment let's do two and there you go and now if you go in and hit three 
it will look something like this. Nice and clean, no end guns, good, good, yep. Okay, so we'll get this out of the way. We'll delete that, we'll take this guy, we'll go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it instead of just a preview. And we'll hit one to go back, there we go. So we've got one of those. Let's raise that up to the surface. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna pull that up. And there you have it. Let's raise that a bit more. And you wanna have a couple of copies of this guy, right? So Control D to duplicate, move it over. Shift D and Shift D, there you go. And because this is a game, we'll kind of move them around a little bit. So it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now that we have those, let's make a, a set of dice. So we're gonna take a, a polygon cube, yep. We're gonna hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And let's set the subdivision level to five by five by five. And that's what we need. We can scale the whole thing up a little bit if you want, so we can see what's going on. There you go, close that out. And now we need to create the pattern for our dice, yeah? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and go to face. I know that one is opposite to six, so we've got one up there, and then we have, a hold on shift, one, two, three, and four, five, six, that's one on six. And then we have two, and come on, three and four and five. So one and six, two, three, four and five, cool, cool. So now that we have all that, we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, extrude. So in my case, shortcut control E, but you can go up to edit mesh and extrude, yeah. What I want to change here is, first of all, uh, keep face together. I want that off. And I want to change the offset. And that would be uh, 0.02, I would guess. Yeah, let's see if that's enough. The reason why I'm saying is that enough is I want some separation going on there. So let's try 0.04, maybe even more, 0.08. That's better, yeah. 0.08 is fine. Okay, I'm gonna click out of it. I'm gonna go back in, and what I wanna do is another extrude, and uh, what I'm gonna do this time is face together off again, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them inwards. Now for that, I need to change the local translate Z, which would be minus 0.08, I guess. That should be enough. And then we're gonna right click and go to object mode, and of course we're gonna smooth this out because we should have round dots, not squares. So click on it, hit three, and we'll get something like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. Right, not too complicated, right? So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna hit one to go back. We're gonna go up to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. And from here, you can choose what smooth level you want, right? You can go to two or as high as you want, right? Okay, so what you can do if you want is put a material on this, right? So what we're gonna do here is first I'm gonna put a uh, material on the entire cube. Now there already is one because it's, you know, gray, right? But just for fun, we're gonna right click, go to assign a material. Let's do a, uh, a blin so we can uh, play with the reflective properties at some point or the, uh, the sheen, if you will. We'll uh, put that on white. And now I have to go in here and color these uh, dots, yeah? So I'm gonna right click the face, I'm going to hold on my tab key, select four of them, and then hold on shift and hit the point or period key, you know, that little thing at the end of a sentence, yeah? So hit it, hit it, hit it, and there you go, and that's fine. And I'm gonna right click, go to assign new material, we'll do another blend, this time it's gonna be black, like that and that looks fine. Now, of course, I need to repeat this, so I'll put it on time-lapse. I'll give you guys some music while I do that. Yeah, here we go.
Okay guys, so here's our dice as you can see and we'll go up to uh, display and show all so we get these guys back. We'll scale this guy down, hit R to skill, and then let's uh, drop that up a little bit. From proportion standpoint, I would say this is about right. We're gonna hit Control D to duplicate this guy. Let's move it over and rotate it. Hit E to rotate, hold down J, and do something like this, and then do something like this, and do something like that. And we'll take this guy, and there you go. And uh, we'll make it look a bit more natural, okay? Now, of course, you want some colors on these guys as well, and that's uh, pretty straightforward. Assign new material, we'll do a blend. Use primary colors, so we'll do red on that one. We'll do, uh, I don't know, blue on that one. And we'll do green and yellow, I guess, yeah. So we'll do green. And one more, assign the material and blend, and we'll go with yellow. Okay. And now you have a set of pawn pegs and dice, and that's all there's to it. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you did. If you haven't subscribed just yet and you don't want to miss out on future videos, please hit that sub button. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.